And here it is, the true Avenger. The Avenger, Hydreigon, Dragon Counter for 320 damage. Hello everyone, my name is Joseph and welcome back to the Popsicle Knight channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please take a second to click the like button if you like this video or hit the thumbs down if you don't. Also, if you enjoy the contents of this channel, please subscribe if you haven't already. This video is sponsored by ptcgostore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO code cards. Are you looking to complete your Pokemon card collection online for the latest set or get booster packs to use for trading online? Or the new ETV box and sleeves? ptcgostore.com has everything you need. Please use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so you can get a 5% discount. Help yourself out with the discount and thank you for helping support the content I create in this channel and for helping out ptcgostore.com. So for today, we'll be taking a look at Hydreigon from the Evolving Sky set. Yes, the dragons are back, but have they returned with a vengeance? You decide. Hydreigon is a stage 2 dragon type Pokemon with 170 HP. It has 3 retreat cost and common to all dragon types. It has no resistance and no weakness. It has two attacks and let's actually start with its second attack, Pitch Black Fangs. For one purple, one dark, and two colorless energy, it will deal 210 damage and it's a decent damage output. However, the energy cost of it I think is a bit too expensive for it to be used consistently in a game. Although I did add two copies of Twin Energies to help pay for this attack just in case. And because we have an odd energy requirement, I included Energy Search. Energy Search, of course, allows you to search your deck for a basic energy card and put it into your hand. What I want to showcase in this video, however, is its first attack, Dragon Counter. For one purple and one dark energy, it will deal 20 plus damage. And then this attack will do 100 more damage for each prize card your opponent took during their last turn. It is very important to remember that the increased damage will only take effect once after your opponent took a prize during their turn. So if you miss to attack with this on your turn, it's gone forever. Also, if your Pokemon was knocked out with poison or similar effects that occur between checkup, this attack will not get the increased damage because technically your opponent did not get the prize during their turn, but in between each player's turn. So really the strength of this attack will depend greatly on how much prize your opponent took on their turn. So if your build is a strict one prize deck with this Hydreigon, more likely you'll end up doing only 120 damage with this attack if your opponent takes only one prize from their last turn. So to showcase this attack to its highest potential, we do have to include in this deck other Pokemon that would give up two or three prizes if they would be knocked out by your opponent. But our purpose is obviously not just to give up prizes, so the first challenge will be to find a Pokemon card that will also be a great offense with this build, while at the same time use the same energy that Hydreigon uses that is either purple energy and or dark energy. I have experimented on a few, for example the new Noivern V could fit nicely with Hydreigon since it too uses the combination of purple and dark energy for its attack and it could give up two prizes allowing Hydreigon to counterattack for 220 damage. And I also tried Galarian Sloking VMAX since it uses dark and colorless energy for its attack the inexpensive cost for its attack make it a viable option to partner with Hydreigon. And because it gives up 3 prizes, it allows Hydreigon to counterattack for 320 damage. However, I've chosen to feature in my opinion the most consistent best Pokemon that synergizes with Hydreigon is Dragapult VMAX which I'll explain why in a little bit. I have to say though that this attack works really well only against matchups where your opponent can also give up 2 to 3 prize Pokemon. That is against V or V Maxis in the current format. Because our focus will be to hit for a huge amount of damage for our dragon counter attack. However, let's review our main 3 prize attacker, Dragapult V Max. It has 320 HP, 1 retreat cost, it has resistance to fighting, and is weak to dark. It has two attacks, the first one is Shred. For one purple energy, it will deal 60 damage and this attack is not affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon, making this a decent counter against Decidueye, Altaria, or Zamazenta V. And its second attack is Max Phantom. For two purple energy, it will deal 130 damage, 
Then you can spread 5 damage counters to your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. I really like Dragavolt VMAX with Hydreigon because its spread damage can really take care of a lot of weaker Pokemon on your opponent's bench, which could potentially get you ahead in prizes early game. And the chip damage can fix the math against other Pokemon VMAXs that have over 320 HP. This is very significant because Hydreigon's counter will only deal exactly 320 damage if Dragapult VMAX gets knocked out. And I also like the low energy cost for this attack and its type advantage against the Urshifu VMAXs. I would recommend setting this up before anything else. As for consistency, I'm using just one copy of Snorlax with the Gormandai's ability. While it ends your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you can draw cards until you have 7 in your hands. And I also have one copy of Crobat V for its Dark Acid ability. The rest of the deck is pretty much self-explanatory, but as for the other cards worth noting, I have a copy of Palpad to recycle two supporter cards from our discard pile back to the deck, one Tool Scrapper, Path to the Peak Stadium which shuts down the abilities of all Pokemon with a rule box on it, and two copies of EXP Share which is a really great card given that Hydreigon has such an expensive attack cost if we're going to attack with the second attack and it also has an odd energy requirement. So being able to transfer an energy from the Pokemon that was knocked out onto the Pokemon this tool card is attached to make it a lot easier to energize our attacks. As for our supporters, I have two copies of Avery. This one forces your opponent to discard Pokemon on their bench until they only have three left, after which you draw three cards. This is a great disruption, especially against Eternatus VMAX, which we are weak against. And also for builds that run a lot of Inteleon, decreasing your opponent's bench size, even if it's just for a turn, could slow them down. I also have two copies of Boss's Orders, two copies of Marnie, two Professor's Research, two Raihan, which is a great counter card. If one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, you can attach an energy from the discard pile to one of your Pokemon. And if you do, you also search your deck for any one card. And lastly, to Skyla. I think this is really great in this build because time and again this has helped me get the energy search to get the right energy in play and also other trainer cards for that matter. And finally, I only have 3 dark energies and 6 purple energies. The overall strategy for this build is to initiate attacking with Dragapult VMAX. Dragapult VMAX can deal some chip damage against V or VMAX Pokemon and knock out as much Pokemon as you can to get ahead in prizes. Meanwhile, Hydreigon will wait patiently in the bench, and when your opponent's VMAX manages to knock out your Dragapult VMAX, the three prizes your opponent got during their turn will allow Hydreigon to use its Dragon Counter to one-hit KO any Pokemon in the game, and hopefully take the last three prizes for the win, making Hydreigon a great finisher. I have to admit, showcasing this Hydreigon was not easy to do. It's a very difficult card to work with, but for science and finding out exactly how this card works, make it worthwhile. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up for the effort and I'd really appreciate it and thank you. And that's pretty much it. The deck list will be in the description below if you'd like to try this out. But enough talk, let's take a look at the new Dragon type Hydreigon. Okay, looks like our opponent is uh, choosing to go first and we're going to Mulligan. And uh, yeah, I've been testing out this particular Hydreigon card you know, to make it stand out, test it out, see what it can do. Uh, I don't know, it's just very difficult to put in a deck. I think, uh, as a standalone, maybe you can play it casually with friends if, you know, you're not using any VMAXs or, you know, no VMAX rule or something like that. And it could be a very powerful card against other single prize decks, you know, for sure. But, um... Yeah, so our setup here will be with Snorlax in the active. I really like using the Gorman dice early on for setup. And it's nice we have energy to put on our Dragapult. And uh, we can start evolving as early as uh, turn 2 and start attacking. And it looks like we're up against a Suicune V build along with Ice Rider Calyrax and its many little friends, the Sobbles or Inteleon line, the infamous Inteleon line. Uh, I'll just energize Dragapult V, switch back into Snorlax so we can use his Gormandize. Uh, I'll use Quick Ball, probably get rid of Professor's Research, because we can Gormandize anyways. And I'm going to get Dino so that we can start setting up our Hydreigon line. Um, I might as well use a Supporter card this turn, and I'm going to get an Evolution Incense 
so that we can set up our Dragapult VMAX. And I'm gonna Gormandize. And uh, all right, cool. We pull into more purple energies, which is great. We have a switch, so we can start attacking as early as our next turn. And um, the whole strategy for this build basically is to get as uh, much as three prizes with your Dragapult VMAX. Um, I say three prizes because um, uh, when our opponent here retaliates, hopefully with the Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, and once we set up our Hydreigon, we can counterattack and get our last three prizes easy. But they're going to Marnie us, so that's going to take away our good hand here. And hopefully we draw into something. I, I really hate it when, you know, <laughs> you get really bad uh, cards uh, when you get Marnie or when you Marnie yourself. Um, but we actually draw into really nice cards here. Uh, we can evolve into stage one with our Hydreigon line. We have Evolution Incense to evolve into Dragapult VMAX. Uh, and Quick Ball probably to get another Dragapult V just in case because survivability could play a part in your strategy. If you don't want your VMAX to get knocked out just yet, you can always just switch it out with the other VMAX that you have set up. So let's just evolve this and I'll get our Dragapult VMAX and we only have one Dragapult VMAX actually. So we'll have to work with this single VMAX. Hopefully we'll take another VMAX from the prize. And I'm comfortable uh, discarding this. We have Ordinary Rod. And we can also set that up for Raihan to use. And I'm just gonna Marnie. And uh, okay, we get EXP Share. And another Dragapult V. Um, I think I'll just put it on the Hydreigon. Uh, that way we can easily counter against our opponent. Uh, thin out our hand by uh, putting our other Dragapult and uh, I think I think I'm just gonna Gorman dice. Um, I've had so many games already where I started attacking and then I had really bad hand. Moving forward I could just lose my Dragapult VMAX and uh, you know lose that way because I didn't get enough cards to you know set up for my next few turns. So now their Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX is fully charged here. And uh, their quick shooting is now targeting our Hydreigon line. I think they know what we're up to. And um, yeah, so in terms of prize exchange, you really want to get three prizes uh, so that when you retaliate against a VMAX, you can take the last three. And again, uh, I think this Hydreigon really uh, excels toward um, matchup against VMAXs because you can easily win uh, quickly if you do set up correctly but we you know with the boss they're gonna knock out our Dragapult V which is actually really bad because we don't want our opponent to get more than three prizes uh, again if we're going to be able to showcase this Hydreigon we should be able to um, give up three prizes and counter attack uh, against our opponent to deal that uh, 300 plus damage against our opponent but obviously if our opponent only has three prizes left they're just gonna win if they knock out our Dragapult VMAX so four is where it should stay no more uh, otherwise again <laughs> the whole setup for this uh, the strategy of this build will just fall apart uh, for now I'm gonna boss I think this Drizzile um, I can uh, just knock it out with Max Phantom and deal 5 damage counter on that Sobble. Uh, making it a lot easier for us to knock it out in the next turn even with just the damage counter. Even if they evolve it into Drizzile. And we get Energy Search from our prize which is great. So now we can put Dark Energy on our Hydreigon line. We have Skyla to evolve Hydreigon so we can easily counter attack uh, against um, our opponent uh, but we do need to get two more prizes hopefully they can set up one more uh, Pokemon that we can knock out and hope <laughs> hopefully we get a boss and uh, there's the Drizzile hopefully we get a boss so that we can uh, maybe we can pick off the uh, Inteleon and uh, knock it out so we can get our three prize. But at least our opponent doesn't have any Pokemon that can knock out our Dragapult VMAX just yet. So we should be able to survive 
uh, one more turn. Oh, dude, they put a Sable. So, okay. So, we get our target. But we'll need to... We need a few more turns to get that uh, two prizes. Uh, so, this is getting a really close. Alright, they're just gonna attack for 130 damage. Don't! <laughs> what is this? Alright. I'm game. I'm game for that. Let's use energy search to put this dark energy. And uh, we'll just boss this because we can knock this out. Because uh, uh, let's max Phantom. That way we can get two prizes. Because if we got the Drizzle in the active, we won't knock out this Sable for five uh, damage counter. So that's perfect, dude. <laughs> that's a perfect setup. So nice. Now we're in that range. Hopefully they don't see what we're up to. If they boss our Hydreigon, uh, that's gonna be game. And they can just knock out our Dragapult VMAX. But hopefully they don't know where we're up against. And uh, we actually want them to knock out our Dragapult VMAX. So we can finally get a showcase for this Hydreigon. Um, and that's what I'm saying with how fragile this uh, the strategy of this build really is. To make it work perfectly like we just did, you know, don't let your opponent get more than three prizes so that we can give up a three prizer. And, uh, you know, get up to three prizes so that when we counterattack against their VMAX, we take the last three prize. Man, there it is, 250 damage, but uh, our setup is perfect. EXP share, we get that purple energy onto our Hydreigon line and that's gonna be game so well played to our opponent um, they're gonna get three prizes from our Dragapult VMAX but uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up guys it took me a lot of games <laughs> it really did it took me a lot of games to get a perfect setup like this one for a perfect showcase for our Hydreigon so Let's go ahead and promote our Zuelos. We have Skyla to get Evolution Incense so that we can get our Hydreigon from our deck. And here it is, the true Avenger. The Avenger, Hydreigon, Dragon Counter for 320 damage. <laughs> finally, finally got a good showcase. All right, moving on to our next match. We win the coin flip. Yes, I'd like to go first. Um, as with any two prize, uh, two uh, stage two cards, I do like to go first. Um, setting up again with two uh, stage twos do, do take a long time. Uh, so yeah, going first is always my, my first pick. Okay, so we're gonna mulligan here. And good, we get Dragapult V in. I'll put that in the active this time around. Uh, we have we have two energies to attach onto it. So I'll just do that and pass. And uh, we have Professor's Research, which is really great actually. You can draw us into more cards. Um, hopefully we get into a Dragapult V Max and uh, start chipping away at our opponent and this looks like a very colorful deck i wonder if it's a sylveon sylveon deck um it is a rapid strike deck they have fire lightning they have water um yeah i don't know how to i don't know how to counteract the strategy i i'm really unfamiliar with this build I, uh, to be honest with you, so I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna go. Um, they have Blaziken to energize, I guess, their, their Pokemon. So it can attack for just one, uh, Rapid Strike energy. And they also have Zero Aura, which hits our bench for 160 or more. Uh, but if we can keep our Dragapult V or V Max in the active we're, we're only receiving 100 damage so uh, let's go ahead and use professor's research we get a Dragapult V Max which is really good 
uh, I can use Tool Scrapper to get rid of the site and the balloon. That will make it harder for them to um, retreat and also do extra damage to our Dragapult V if we get one in the bench. And I'm just gonna slowly chip away at these guys and I'll just spread it evenly, I guess, between these two uh, Pokemon V on the bench. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is a perfect uh, setup. I mean, not perfect yet, but uh, it's pretty ideal what we have here with Dragapult starting to just chip away at our opponent. Hopefully we can get into more prizes later on and uh, be able to counterattack with Hydreigon. Uh, they're putting in uh, to play more putting into play more of the weaker Pokemon, which is actually ideal for this, for our Dragapult. Um, hopefully we, again, pull into another boss, you know, that's always, uh, you know, boss is, I don't know, boss is the best card in the game. It, it just really is. And um, we can get a lot of easy prize. They have Zigzagoon also, so there it is. There's our three targets to knock out. I mean, if we knock out, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, if we knock out this Blaziken, but that's fine. Um, let's evolve into Hydreigon. Put this Dark Energy. Um, use Path to the Peak. Maybe that will eliminate any um, abilities they might have. And... Uh, Let's see, I can use a quick ball to get another Dragapult, maybe? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the Evolution Incense. Get myself another Dragapult. And just attack this Sobble for a prize. Um, okay, Remoraid, not quite enough. I mean, 60 is pretty close. I can put one damage counter on this Remoraid and uh, let's see, you know, yeah, I'll just put three damage counter on this Remoraid. So that means Zigzagoon is within, um, within damage counter range to knock out on our next attack and Remoraid can just get knocked out with three damage counters. So, unless they evolve it into Octillery, uh, we have Zigzagoon to target as our prize. And we have Boss, which is great. Uh, we can get that. Uh, yeah, we can just uh, get that Blaziken and knock it out. Or even if they evolve into uh, Octillery, we can get the Octillery, knock it out, and. Oh, but they're gonna boss. Who are they gonna boss? They're gonna boss Dragapult V. But they're just gonna draw three cards. Okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I can just put an energy on Dragapult V. Retreat with it, maybe. And uh, boss one of their Pokemon. So that we can get our, la our last two critical... Um, I could, use, I could use Skyla though. And you know, I'll just use Boss. I think Boss is the most. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Max Phantom. And we're just gonna knock out this Remoraid for three. And get the last two damage on that Zigzagoon. So we get two prizes, and that's it. Um. I mean, if they attack with like a Vaporeon VMAX and knock out our Dragapult VMAX, then yeah, this is gonna be, uh, that's gonna be game. But uh, yeah, if we can take one more prize, it's even better because even if they attack with like a two prizer and then we counter attack uh, with Hydreigon, we'll still win the game for the two prizes because we'll be hitting for 220 damage. So you just gotta, I guess you just gotta do the math. Okay, they're gonna use Max Torrent for 200 damage. Not quite enough to knock out our Dragapult VMAX. 
Um, I really don't want to use Flannery because they could just uh, take away one of those Pokemon with a damage counter on it already. I'll just get a EXP share with Skyla so that even it gets knocked out, uh, our Dragapult, that energy will just go onto our Hydreigon. I'll just get another energy for our second Dragapult just in case. And I'm going to max Phantom this uh, Vaporeon VMAX. And we're gonna, again going to chip away at this Zigzagoon. Uh, they can use actually, they can actually use um, Zero or V to attack, get uh, four prizes, but uh, we're well, we're we're way too ahead in prize I think, for it to make any big difference. So we should still be okay. There's a telescopic sight, so um, if they have like uh, Passimian, they could I think knock out. Could they knock out? 160. Or 90. Yeah, they could knock out the uh, Dragapult V on the bench. But no, they're just going to max Torrent against our Dragapult V max. And that's going to be game, guys. There it is. That's going to be game. <laughs> um, you know, even if we don't use Dragon Counter, we can just attack normally. Yeah. But you know what? Dragon Counter. For 320 damage, getting our last three prizes against this Rapid Strike build. Good game. So, uh, I'm going to choose to go first. And looks like we're going to start with a Dino. Or no. Um, we're going to Mulligan, actually. That looked like a Dino there for a second. Okay, okay, there's the Dino. There's the Dino. So is, is, is Hydreigon a dragon or a dinosaur? Because uh, the basic is a dino. Let's uh, put an energy there. This looks like a very scary setup. Having dino with 60 HP. I think we need to get this uh, quick ball going for sure. We can get that into the discard pile. Get Snorlax. I think I'll just have to retreat here so we can use Gormandize. Get more cards. All right, cool. We get Dragapult V. We can set that up. At least they don't, you know, they have no way to donk us. And uh, they're gonna charge with this Pikachu. Uh, looks like we're dealing with a Lightning deck along with um, Rayquaza V Max build. Let's see, let's get a Zuelos evolve. And, uh, hmm. I wish I could get an, an energy here, but our hand is really bad. Let me just discard Raihan, get another Dragapult V, and I'll use Palpad. Because I want to use a Professor's Research. If I'm going to discard all this, might as well just use them up. Uh, get that with a Palpad. Um, and I think I. Yeah, I could just use the Twin Energy. Let me just put that on our Hydreigon. Put another Dino on the bench. EXP share on Hydreigon. Let's see, we, we can put one more Basic on our bench. Uh, we have Crobat. I think I'll get Crobat. And just thin out the deck, I guess. Fine. Get a Dragapult V Max. Use Crobat for three more cards to draw into, and we get Path to the Peak. And I'm just gonna Gormandize for two. Get more Dark Energy and Twin Energy. I'd really rather have the uh, Purple Energy, but uh, it's not looking good. And they're gonna Marnie. Okay. Um. Yeah, Avery, I think, would be good here, if especially if they use Mareep or uh, Flaffy. Uh, usually, they, they'll they just um, flood, the vent, uh, flood their bench with a lot of Flaffies. So if we have Avery 
counter that by you know removing as much of the Pokemon on their bench. That'll be good. But they're gonna knock out our Snorlax with their Pikachu V, hitting for 200 damage. Um, ooh, we get a Dragapult V Max. Okay, guess I can energize this Dragapult V. Get our Snorlax, evolve into Dragapult V Max, and I could just shred against this Pikachu V. And uh, yeah, that should we should be able to knock it out in the next turn if they don't uh, withdraw or retreat. But they're gonna charge up their. Rayquaza, which is uh, a little bit dangerous because, you know, even with just a few energies, we, it can actually knock out our Dragapult VMAX. And without our Hydreigon set up, it's going to be very dangerous. So, okay, there's their other Flaffy, and they're just energizing their... Um, the Rayquaza VMAX is kind of scary. Put another energy. Um, it has 90 HP, so... It's going to take two turns to get... Get that thing knocked out, but... We'll just play Avery. Let's see which one they discard. Oh, they're going to discard both their Rayquaza. Okay. Yeah, I figured, because they really need that Flaffy on the bench. Um, we can max Phantom for two prize against this Pikachu V. Unfortunately, we won't knock out their Flaffy. We get EXP Share and a Hydreigon. Um, that will get us one energy onto Hydreigon. Maybe we can use Skyla to get a Dark Energy. And uh, we can actually knock out this um, Rayquaza V Max. With our Dragon Connor. And they're going to use Copycat. So they'll get five cards on their hand. Oh, dude. Okay, there's another Rayquaza. Oh, man. And they're energizing it. Okay. Um, I don't know how to counter this. Because... Uh, I need... Um, Dragapult VMAX, the second one, to start attacking, because, man, if they evolve into a Rayquaza, another Rayquaza VMAX, that's going to be it. Maxed, max burst for 340 damage. Just for four energy? My goodness. Four energies. Okay, so they get three prizes for that. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna promote our Hydreigon. Oh, dude, we get Raihan, but uh, we only have. Actually, we can use Raihan, energize our Dragapult V. We have Dragapult V Max in the deck too, and I'm gonna get a Dark Energy so that we can attach it on Hydreigon. Um, use EXP Share on this, and we have Skyla to evolve into Dragapult V Max. And we'll just knock out this Rayquaza VMAX for 320 damage, getting us three prizes. Not bad. So the plan here is, even if they knock out our Hydreigon, we can evolve using Skyla into Dragon Ball VMAX, energize it with the last energy, and then just knock out that Flaffy on the bench, getting our last prize, winning us the game. So that's that's the plan. That's the plan. So I mean they have but they're gonna boss spiral burst. Wait, what? How did they knock that out with just two energy? The <laughs> Okay, so our opponent's gonna go first this time around. And looks like we're gonna have to mulligan. And looks like we're going to start with the Dino again uh, this turn. Uh, we have Rare Candy. 
dark energy so we can definitely uh, start attacking uh, with Hydreigon with the evolution incense we just need a purple energy so that that's the only thing I don't like about uh, this Hydreigon is because um, you need three energies supposedly I guess but uh, two different energies at that, so it makes it a little bit more complicated. So like, unlike the Zashin build that we're up against, you know what I mean? All it needs is like three of the same energies. Uh, for now though, I'm just gonna call for family, start setting up my Dragapult VMAX line. And uh, we're also up against the Zamazenta V. And uh, that's gonna be, I mean, Dragapult V Max can use Shred and it's not going to be affected by it. So we can uh, chip away at the Zamazenta V if anything. They're going to continue to Intrepid Sword. Man, Zamazenta, I mean, Zashin V is just too OP. Too overpowered. Um, let's get Dragapult V Max evolve into this so they can't knock it out. Uh, let me evolve into Hydreigon as well. Uh, put this twin energy. Call for family some more. I'll get my Snorlax because our hand is practically dead. Um, I can use Switch, just Gormandize for the next turn and uh, just keep setting up as much as I can. So this is quite difficult. They're also using Bronze Song so they can transfer energies among their Metal type Pokemon. Well, it doesn't have to be metal type, actually. As long as it's a metal energy, Bronze Zone can transfer that. So, they also have this Metagross. I'm, I'm assuming it's the one that uh, gives you the free retreats. Okay, they have another Zash, and they're going to Intrepid Sword with that one. And they're just... Uh, fully energizing all of their attackers it's like it's not looking good for us so this is a little bit of a different matchup because we're not dealing with a v max so getting three prizes is not going to be a thing for this matchup so we're just gonna we're just gonna adapt uh the best way we could uh, unfortunately with all the energies all the uh purple energies we have in the deck all we keep getting is the dark energy so I'll just get Zuelos from this so that we can uh, evolve. And I'm just going to Gormandize. I feel like um, we're going to need Tool Scrapper here, so I'm not going to callously discard that. Because uh, these, um, these Zashin Zamazenta builds, uh, they usually use like Cape of Toughness, uh, Air Balloon, something like that. So I think... Um, this tool scrapper is going to be very useful but they're going to boss who are they going to boss oh dude they're going to boss our hydragon so they know what we're up there uh, what they're up against i guess and we're going to lose the hydragon unfortunately uh, we can evolve into another hydragon use counter but it's only going to deal it's only going to deal 100 damage but you know what we have raihan we should have another twin energy in the deck. Um, let's see, I can just get another Dragapult V. Um, evolve into Hydreigon. And I'll use EXP share on this Dragapult. Get this purple energy on Hydreigon and get the twin energy. Hopefully it's here. Let it be here. There it is. I think I'll just attack. Finally be able to showcase. <laughs> it's pitch black fangs for the first time. 210 damage. Pitch black fangs. But uh, they're going to use escape rope, which I don't really mind. And I'll just put probably Snorlax, maybe. Yeah, I think Snorlax is the best option. But uh, with Zamazenta V, they can just knock it out. 
Because Zamazenta does hit for 130. And looks like they're transferring all the energy to Zashin V. Professor's research, okay. Um, oh, the Crystal Cave is healing their Pokemon. I was thinking of using um, Dragapult V, V Max to just chip away at the Z uh, Zashin to knock it out. But unfortunately, they're healing it out of range. They're healing it out of range. Uh, let's just promote our Hydreigon. Um, I could boss. Let's energize our Dragapult. And use Tool Scrapper. You know, I'll, I'll... Should I use... I think I'll just save it for now. Because they could attach another Tool Card. And then we'll just have wasted our only Tool Scrapper. So, I mean, I could damage. Not like I'm going to knock it out just yet. But at least... Uh, if we boss it into the active. Especially the Zashans. I think the Zashans are going to be the, the worst ones to... Kind of face off in this matchup. But that crystal cave is super annoying. And see, that's what I mean. There's the other cape of toughness. So when you have the tool scrapper, you can get those two out of the way. If we had used it last turn, now they have that uh, cape of toughness on the other one that we have to, to deal with. So... Yeah, save your tool scrappers. I think tool scrappers are very important in a lot of builds now. Because tool uh, tool cards are very common uh, in in a lot of uh, builds, you know, to make to make uh, their Pokemon really strong. So uh, tool cards are the the new age, you know. Post rotation tool cards are like an essential part of a lot of builds. But their Zashin V is going to knock out our Hydreigon. We transfer an energy to our Dragapult VMAX. Unfortunately, because of the healing, we won't be able to knock out their Zashin V in the bench. So we'll just use this Tool Scrapper then. Um, man, I wish we had a boss. Could boss that one in the bench and knock out this, this other one. But uh, I'll uh, charge up our... Dino for now, Max Phantom to knock out this Zashin. And I think I'll chip away at this Zashin V in the bench. Zamazenta V is very tempting to chip chip away at, but you know, that Zamazenta is almost at the brink of knockout. So I think I'll just keep pressuring at it, you know what I mean? And even if they heal with the uh the crystal, yeah. The five damage counter should be able to knock it out. So we're good. We're good. And they're just going to attack with Zamazenta V. But not quite enough. And we can actually tank another hit from this Zamazenta. And we get Path to the Peak from our top deck, which is insane. So let's use our Professor's Research. That way, Zamazenta V's ability will no longer work. We can hit it, hit it for 130 damage. Uh, let's use our Ordinary Rod. Let's see, we can get uh, the Hydreigons. I think I'll get these uh, two. We have Dino anyways. And get... Uh, let's see, should I get the two different types? Yeah, I'll just get these two different types back into the deck. And we're just going to Max Phantom. Max Phantom. Dealing 130 damage to this Zamazenta. And knocking out this Zashin V. For another two prize. There it is. And we get a Dragapult V Max and a boss. That's it. We will tank a hit from this Zamazenta. We can just boss it up into the active. And win us the game. But you know what? I would consider this a successful showcase with Hydreigon. 
you know, it actually did a lot of huge damage against their Zamazentas early on in the game. Surprisingly. <laughs> Surprisingly. Uh, yeah, there it is. Wow, good game. Good game. Hydreigon is like an Avenger. After its friend Dragapult VMAX gets knocked out, it can almost always just one hit KO the Pokemon who knocked out its friend. Dragapult VMAX synergizes well with Hydreigon because its spread attack works perfectly to soften up bulkier opponents as well as take multiple prizes in the early game. And Hydreigon will just relax in the bench waiting for the right opportunity to counterattack in behalf of its knocked out friend. And since it can practically one hit KO anything given the right circumstances, you could just easily take the last three prizes for the win. I have to admit though that this Hydreigon Dragapult VMAX build does not do too well against dark type matches, but it does pretty well against other matchups. In my own opinion though, Hydreigon's Dragon counterattack is just okay because it's very circumstantial. And I don't think players will fill their deck space with a stage 2 Pokemon with so little to offer. Filling up your bench space and just waiting for that single counter attack. And most of the time, if your opponent knows what you're up to, they can just bosses order Hydreigon and just knock it out. And setting up a new one can take a few turns to accomplish, making it a little bit more difficult. And if your build is centered around a VMAX that is the main attacker, honestly, I would rather just use the extra space to make my deck more consistent and there are a lot more techs that will be useful rather than Hydreigon. And even if you just build a straight up Hydreigon as the main attacker, I still don't think it's going to be any good. Building up the stage 2 just to attack for 210 damage that cost 4 energies, that includes 2 specific energy typing at that, I think is just too expensive and the setup will be just too slow. Overall though, I think this card is just okay. It's not bad, but I don't think it's good either. Please do let me know in the comments below if you have a better build suggestion for this new dragon, Hydreigon. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this build and the gameplay. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.